You want the best for your car? You already watch our tutorials. So the best place for the best deal is to buy from the Mr. Auto app. Easy, fast and with better prices than on the website. You will find the bulk drive belt used in the video exclusively on the Mr. Auto website and through the link in the description. Turn your engine off. Pull up the handbrake. Pull on the bonnet release lever and open the bonnet. Before carrying out this operation, we recommend watching our video, Five Things to Know When Changing a Drive Belt. This helps explain the key role that this part plays. For safety reasons, we recommend unplugging the battery. Using a socket wrench and an 8mm socket, unscrew the terminal from the negative terminal. In order to change the drive belt on your vehicle, you're going to have to lift the front and remove the passenger side wheel to have complete access. Unscrew the wheel nuts, lift the front of the car and place it on the stands. We strongly suggest watching the tutorial, raising your vehicle safely, before carrying out this step. You can then remove the wheel. Don't forget to slide it under your vehicle. You then need to remove the front mod guard on the right hand side to access the belt accessories. To do this, unscrew the screw using a Torx 25 screwdriver. Remove the holding clips using a fork. You can now take off the mud guard. You can now see the drive belt. The drive belt moves the alternator, which charges the battery. Yet, it also operates the power steering, the air conditioning compressor, and sometimes the water pump. Using a ratchet and a 15mm socket, slacken the belt by lifting the tensioner pulley. At the same time, remove the belt. When you're changing the drive belt, you also have to replace the tensioner pulley. Using a ratchet and a 14mm socket, unscrew the upper retaining screw of the tensioner pulley. Then, using a ratchet and a 6mm Allen socket, unscrew the lower retaining screw on the tensioner pulley. Remove the pulley. All parts used in this tutorial are supplied by our trusted partners. These partners also help us create as many video tutorials as possible. Check them out in the description below. Clamp the tensioner pulley in a vise, then lift the pulley so that the lower retaining screw can be removed. You will find the bulk parts and products used in the video on the Mr. Auto site and in the link in the description. Get the new pulley and put it back in its place. Screw the two screws back in with a ratchet. Finish off the tightening with a torque wrench. Then tension the tensioner with a 15mm socket and remove the locking pin. Take the new drive belt. Slide the new drive belt into and around the different elements, respecting the layout from the initial assembly. Retention the tensioner, then thread the belt between the different sections, as shown in the original assembly diagram. Then release the tensioner pulley to fully extend the belt.
put the mud cart back in. Replace the holding clips. Screw the screw back in. Then you can put the wheel back on your vehicle and put it back on the ground. Reconnect the battery. Operation completed. Hi, it's Theo from Usetool. I hope this video has helped you a lot in your car maintenance. We would be super grateful if you could spread the word so that we can produce even more tutorials. Simply give us a like, a comment, and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us boost the channel and help the whole community. Thanks a lot and have a great one.